What's going on RFD gang and welcome back to another episode of Register for Dinner. I'm your host Sebastian Register and today we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes of all time. We're going to be making a Vietnamese fresh spring roll. That's right, not the fry version, the fresh version, accompanied with a side of peanut dipping sauce. So stay tuned. But before we start rolling up, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and hit that little notification bell and welcome to the RFD gang. Now let's get rolling. The very first step in creating your Vietnamese fresh spring rolls is getting started with your peanut dipping sauce. This is a very easy recipe and only calls for four ingredients. So the very first thing we're going to add is creamy peanut butter. And I have about two hefty tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, two tablespoons to start off with of some hot water and that's just to help dissolve some of the peanut butter so it doesn't get all chunky. That's fine. Again, two hefty tablespoons of hoisin sauce, and I would say a little less than a fourth of a cup of some soy sauce. If you want a little bit sweeter, then you can go ahead and either add sugar or a little bit more ho uh, hoisin sauce, a little saltier, more soy sauce, and you'll start to see that as you whisk more, the peanut butter starts to dissolve, and it actually thickens up the sauce. All right, after a couple minutes of whisking, you can see it's gone to almost like a caramel-like consistency, which for me is perfect. Next step is to cook your vermicelli noodles, which are essentially really thin rice noodles. And you can pick these up maybe in the international food section at your grocery store or at any Asian grocery store. And you're gonna cook these for about six to eight, eight minutes or until nice and soft and al dente. Be sure not to overcook these. So six minutes is up. I'm gonna go ahead and strain out my noodles. And then what I have on my cutting board is just a nice ice bath, and that's just to shock the noodles and stop them from cooking any further. And you can see that they're full of starch. All right, that's good. And you can just set these aside, and now it's time to get started your next step, which is boiling your shrimp. So to get started with boiling your shrimp, I think it's very important first that you season your water. So I have one whole shallot, a ginger, and optional, but two Thai chilies just to give a little bit of spice. So, and you don't have to be precise with these chops. I'm just roughly chopping them up. You don't even have to peel the ginger at all. Two Thai chilies, just give them a rough chop as well. And you can throw stems and all, and just gonna transfer that over to your pot. So the water is boiling. I have a bowl of extra jumbo large shrimp. They have already been peeled and deveined. I'm just gonna add them into the boiling water for about three minutes or so. Um, you don't wanna overcook them because then they can become chewy and tough. Your shrimp is ready and just like the vermicelli uh, noodles, we're gonna go ahead and shock it in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. So just quickly start transferring them over because they will continue to cook while they're in the boiling water, obviously. And these smell great. The ginger, the chilies, the shallots really opened up the flavor of the water and it's gonna give it a really nice flavor to the shrimp. The next step in preparing for your Vietnamese fresh spring rolls is cooking your Chinese sausage. Um, these are Chinese, not Vietnamese, but um, they are fantastic. They're a little bit sweet, but I think they're gonna go really nicely with the basil, the mint, all the other ingredients. So I have a pot over here steaming my nice bamboo steamer, and you're gonna steam these for about 15 or so minutes. And that is hot, so try to be careful and be quick. The first things you're gonna need in preparing your Vietnamese fresh spring rolls is a damp cloth so the rice paper doesn't stick and some spring roll wrappers. These you can get at your local Asian store. They are very thin and very delicate and you wanna dip them in some lukewarm water and you're gonna to wanna to move fast with this because as this starts to sit and soak, it does get very, very soft on you. So I'm gonna start off with the shrimp, I think. So like I said, I have the shrimp and I'm gonna lay them with the orange side facing down. And there's many different techniques to preparing a spring roll, uh, but I found this is to be the easiest and also the prettiest looking. So I have here now some Thai basil. You can put as much or as little as you want. Some fresh mint leaves, some cilantro, some sliced green onions. You're gonna wanna try to do your best to keep everything on top of the shrimp. And you can put some nice julienne carrots, okay? And then we're gonna take that rice noodles, the vermicelli that we cooked uh, earlier, and I'm gonna take a nice little handful, and what I like to do is kind of roll it on top of each other so it almost takes the shape, and you wanna squeeze any excess water off, lay it right on top, and then as you can see, this is now very pliable. It's crazy how they make this stuff. And just like a burrito, you're gonna start wrapping. And you should get something just like that. 
Now let's move on to the Chinese sausage spring rolls. So again, I'm gonna dip it in some lukewarm water, the rice paper that is, place it onto your damp cloth. I've taken these uh, sausages and I've cut them at a bias. I'm gonna take four of them this time. Kind of place them at an angle. At the end of the day, you can do whatever you really want with these. Some more Thai basil, a little bit of mint leaf, hit it with a little bit of green onions, some carrots, some more. And we're gonna grab a little bit more of that vermicelli noodles. Again, you just want a nice handful of the noodles. You don't need an absolute ton. And just like I was doing, just gonna start folding it on top of each other, squeeze any excess water out of it, place it on top. Grab one side of the paper, fold them inwards. See, if you're not quick, it starts to become very sticky. And then, just like you did with the shrimp, start wrapping it like a burrito. To get started with your plating, grab yourself a nice long plate like this. Take your shrimp, cut it at a bias. Take your sausage spring roll, grab your peanut sauce, place it in the center, and finish off the peanut sauce with just a little sprinkle of some chopped peanuts. I can't resist guys, I've got to take a bite. So I think I'm gonna start off with the shrimp. Oh yeah, look at this peanut sauce, looks fantastic. Mm. So good. And those herbs, the cilantro, the Thai basil, the mint, really brighten up that dish. And what's surprising is you actually do get a little heat from that Thai chili. But this is truly one of my favorite dishes and you gotta try it at home. And there you guys have it, a delicious and easy Vietnamese fresh spring roll that is light, fresh, and somewhat healthy. But just like that, we're done with another episode of Register for Dinner, and I'm your host, Sebastian Register. If you enjoyed today's video and can't wait for us to cook something else up, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But until next time, stay hungry, my friends.